In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce product bundle in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. For our bundled product, I'm going to create a similar setup to this one. So here we are, we've got a cosmetic bundle here. Within this bundle, the user can choose from this cosmetic pencil and also this makeup brush as well. Here as well, you can see the users getting a quantity of two. So they're getting two pencil and they're getting one of these brushes. And they've also got an option as well to choose the color of the pencil. So you can choose um, blue, for example. And then we can choose this option as well. And then we can take advantage of this bundle. And here you can see we're saving $15 by purchasing this bundle. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to navigate over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download and install the WooCommerce product bundle. Product by WooSuite. Once you've done so, we'll head right back over to our dashboard. So here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So providing you've downloaded a plugin by WeSuite, I'll leave the link in the description below. Then you just wanna go plugins, add new, go ahead and update the WeSuite core plugin. Then you'll see this option here. You wanna to navigate to add-ons. So I'm opening it in a new tab. And then you just wanna scroll down to where it says product bundles here. Go ahead and install and activate this module. So currently I've already got it installed and activated. You can tell by this on button here. When we hit manage, so we've got a few global um, settings. So here we have the option to rename our add, add all to cart button. So if you remember in our example over here, it says add all to cart. We can go ahead and change this text if we wanted. So we can say add to bag. We can say purchase this bundle or whatever you choose. And then here as well. So when the user adds the bundle to cart, we have the option to choose whether we want to show each items within the bundle separately in the cart or whether we want to group it together as well and here as well we've got the option to display the amount saved to the customer so let's go ahead and rename this option here so we'll say purchase and then for this show um, amount save option i'm just going to enable this um, i'm going to leave this option as default for now and we'll come back to it later on so let's go ahead and save changes and then let's just have a quick look at how things are looking. So here you can see it says a purchase bundle. And then if we scroll up here by the product title, you can see, you can see this option here where it says save. So it's telling the user that they've saved $15, right? So now let's go ahead and figure out how we actually go about creating this bundle. So the second step is to add a new product. This is optional. Say for example, if you've, if you've already got your e-commerce store up and running, you've got several different products that you want to bundle together, then you can skip this step and then you can join me back later on. So within this bundle, you can see we've got um, this pencil product here, this lip pencil. And we've also got this like makeup brush here as well. So again, if these are existing products in your store, then it will be super straightforward to create this bundle. However, if you don't have the products individually yet, then you want to go ahead and create the products. So if I just click on this product here, we can see that it's just a standard um, WooCommerce variable product. So if I click edit product, as you can see, it's just a standard product. So again, for step two, you just want to go ahead and click add um, product. You just want to add as many products as you want that you'll be adding to your bundle. So in my case, I've added two products. To save time on this video, I'm not going to go ahead and recreate the products. I'm just going to quickly give you an overview of how I've got things set up. So again, this is just a standard um, WooCommerce variable product. You can set it to a simple product as well if you want. So where we've got product data you can just go ahead and click simple product. If you're unsure about how to create a product within WooCommerce, I'll leave a link in the description so you can figure out how to actually go about creating a product. But I'm assuming that you're already familiar with um, creating products within WooCommerce. So again, we just create our bond the products that we want to include in our bundle. But again, we've got the product name, some product description. This is displaying like this because I was using the Divi theme. So this is why it's got some um, extra options here, which relates to the Divi Builder. In your case, you won't have any of this. So we select our product category. Again, mine is a variable product. So I just added my attributes. I've got my color attributes here. And then I created um, the variation out of my color attributes. So I just selected create variation from all attributes. So in my case, I only added the color attribute. 
I went ahead and set my prices, created my featured image, and then we just click publish or update. Now moving on to step three. So in this phase, we're gonna actually go ahead and create our bundle. So just to recap, you go ahead and create your product that you wanna include in your bundle. In my case, I've added two products, the makeup lip pencil and a makeup brush as well. So you just wanna go ahead and repeat this process in creating the products in which you wanna include in your bundle. Now, moving on to step three, we just go ahead and click add products. So again, we just add product as usual. And again, to save time, I'm not gonna go ahead and create a new product. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this bundle here. So once you've added um, your new product, so then you just go ahead and name your bundle, go ahead and add in some description, and then you can categorize it and do all the normal things you would with a standard product. But then here where it says product data, so this is the key part, we're gonna select this new option that you should see once you've installed this plugin. So it says bundled product. So we're gonna select this option here. And then now when we scroll down and look to the left, we've got this new option where it says bundled products here. So when I click on this option, so the first option here, it's asking us which template we want to use. So by default, this plugin comes with two standard templates. So here we've got a template to display our bundles above the fold, or we can show it below the fold. And then here where it says applies to, we want to select how we, we're going to um, choose our products. So we can add um, products to our bundle via a product category, um, via a product tag, or we can select the individual products. So let's say, for example, if um, you wanted to create a bundle out of all products within your um, accessories category, then in that case, you just go ahead here and select um, product category. And then you'll have this new option here where it says select the product category. And then here when we select accessories, it will basically add all the products within our accessories category to our bond that you can see here. So this is super useful if you wanna quickly create your bundle. Okay, so I'm gonna remove um, product category for now. And I'm gonna leave mine as just products, meaning we can go ahead and select the individual products. So where it says select product here, you just go ahead and type the product and as you type in, it will suggest the product which it thinks um, you were referring to. So for example, we could add belt to our bundle. And in here where it says quantity, so in this quantity field, we, here we can specify the particular quantity of the product that will be included in the bundle. So if you remember on our example, the lip pencil, the quantity was two, right? So if we scroll back over here, you can see this time two button indicating to the users that they'll be getting two lip pencils within this bundle. So again, I'm gonna remove this belt product. So here you just input your um, quantity and then for the price display, so we can, com so combine basically means it will combine the price of all the different products within our bundle and display it or we can choose um, none, so we can choose not to display a price, or we can choose the range. So for example, it will choose um, from the lowest to the highest price product within our bundle. Or we can select custom. If we select custom, then we'll utilize this option here. So let's say, for example, we selected custom and we say $45, right? Meaning that the users will get all the products in this bundle for $45, regardless of the price of the individual products. So let's say for example, this lip pencil was $100 and this was say $50. If we choose custom and set the bundled price here to $45, it means that the user will get all those products for $45. So in my case, I selected um, combine, I believed, and we can go ahead and remove this option. Again, this option here will only take effect if you select um, cost. Okay, and then we've got this option here. So it says enable add all to cart. For the most part, you'll enable this option. But let's say, for example, if you wanted to create like a lookbook, say this was a fashion site, right? And we've got, we want to display um, maybe a top, a handbag and some trousers, right? If it's a lookbook, it means that the users can purchase 
individual items from that bundle, meaning that they don't have to purchase all the items. So in that case, you might want to disable this add all to cart option. So I'm going to leave it as enabled. And then here where it says hide individual add to cart buttons. So again, just like what I was trying to explain earlier, if we was to select um, no here, then for these products, it will basically show an add to cart button next to each product. So again, if you imagine this was a lookbook, this will be super useful to the users. So they can see like the outfit, they can basically shop the look. Displaying an add to cart button next to each product would make sense. So if you imagine this was a top, um, trousers and handbag, then maybe the customer will say, yes, I like the handbag, let's add that to cart. Um, I like the trousers, let's add that to cart. And maybe they might ignore the top, right? So that's where I think that would be useful. So again, for our example, I'm going to select, let's hide the individual add to cart buttons. And then again, we've got the option to um, display the individual quantity field. So again, I've set this to yes, because I want to hide this option. And here it says um, whether we want to hide the individual price. So again, I've selected yes. And do we want to hide the product description of the products? So here I've selected yes also. And then the disc if you remember on the front end, it said that we saved $15 and that's because here I've applied a fixed discount of $15. If we were to up this to let's say $25 right then on the front end it will minus $25 off the combined price okay so again you can add your short description go ahead and add your featured product image gallery image if you need to and then we can go ahead and hit update and then we just want to double check our product bundle so let's go ahead and view this product and if you remember we updated um, the discount to $25. So now here it's saying that we save $25, right? So this is the total cost, the combined cost of all the products within our bundle. And since we're giving users a fixed price discount of $25, now they're getting it for $86, right? And then they can go ahead and select the options. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add it to cart. Okay, so if I view cart, And that's how you create a product bundle within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.